नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेस आई एम प्राणेश द फाउंडर ऑफ द चैनल एंड एन आई एस सी बैंगलोर एलमस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व एम सी क्यू नंबर फाइव फ्रॉम एस आर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू फिजिक्स सेक्शन एंड दिस पेपर इज अवेलेबल ऑन देयर वेबसाइट दैट इज एम सी क्यू नंबर फाइव यू माइट ऑलरेडी बी नोइंग दिस दैन इन दैट इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू द एग्जाम हैड एटलीस्ट टू डिफरेंट सेट्स सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड द सोल्यूशंस टू द अदर सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चन विच वेर स्लाइटली डिफरेंट एंड आई हैव ऑल्सो इंक्लूडेड दैट पर्टिक्युलर क्वेश्चन विच रिजेंबल्स द क्वेश्चन दैट वेर गोइंग टू सॉल्व इन दिस वीडियो ओके दैट वॉज क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी हुज सोल्यूशन इज अवेलेबल ऑन अवर चैनल आई हैव प्रोवाइडेड द लिंक इन द वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन ओके एंड मेनी ऑफ यू एक्चुअली फाउंड दिस कन्फ्यूजिंग बिकॉज यू वेर एक्चुअली रेफरिंग टू दिस पर्टिक्युलर प्रॉब्लम where the block was lighter than the liquid and the solution which i have uploaded earlier it read the block to be denser than the liquid okay so in this video we are going to solve both the problems together i'm going to show you uh, the resemblance between the two problems in fact both of them actually give us the same answer okay and the options are also the same for uh, question 5 website paper and question 50 set b the figures slightly differ and that's obvious so let's first read the statements then we will solve both the problems together question 5 a liquid of density rho in a container weighs w a cubic block of side l and density rho b less than rho so rho b refers to density of the block is pushed by a stick to completely submerge the block in the liquid without touching the bottom so this stick part pushed by a stick that's indicated here this small arrow here basically indicates that the block is being held at that particular position by pushing it downwards right because the block being lighter than the liquid there will be buoyant force pulling it upwards okay so if we were not pushing it by a stick the block would have continued accelerating vertically upwards acha Uh, without touching the bottom if g is the acceleration due to gravity and the liquid displaced by the stick is negligible what is the new weight of the container as registered by the weighing machine below and we have four options a b c d as usual now let's read question 50 a liquid of density rho in a container weighs w a cubic block of side l and density rho b greater than rho is tied to a string and is completely submerged into the liquid so this time that cubic block of same dimensions side l and density rho b but this time greater than that of the liquid is tied to a string is tied to a string so here you can see the support and this is the string right so you now see the slight differences between the two figures it's very much like spot the differences which we used to play as as a child right and yes is completely submerged into the liquid if g is the acceleration due to gravity what is the new weight of the composite system as registered by the weighing machine below the container now let us first compare both these situations with a uh, a weighing machine kept in a lift and we standing on it okay we know that the machine records different weights when it is accel being accelerated upwards or downwards the lift and when the lift is not moving or moving with constant velocity okay so the weight that the weighing machine is actually going to show or indicate is actually equal to the normal reaction that the weighing machine is going to offer to the body correct so we are going to solve this problem by drawing the free body diagrams of the block and of the liquid container separately and and note that in both the cases equations of static equilibrium hold that is the net forces acting on any body in any particular direction must be zero okay so we'll start with question 5 we will start with question 5 let us suppose that this is the block first of all its weight will act vertically downwards the magnitude will be rho b l cube g okay fine and what will be the buoyant force the buoyant force will act 
in this direction. What will be its magnitude? Rho L cubed G. Now, because rho is greater than rho B in the first case, the buoyant force dominates the weight, so it needs to be pushed downwards. So let's call that force as P. Okay, that is for the block. And if we draw the free body diagram of liquid, considering its vertical equilibrium only, then its weight is going to act downwards. That's true. The normal reaction is going to act upwards. That's true. Now comes the main part of the problem. Recall the third law of motion. Every action has its equal and opposite reaction. Which means, if the liquid is exerting buoyant force rho L cube G on the block, the block must also exert equal and opposite force on the liquid. And that needs to be accounted here. Okay, so if for the block it is upwards, for the liquid it will be downwards. So rho L cubed G. So I deliberately highlighted these two things in pink color because they are action and reaction pairs. Okay, now because this is a static equilibrium condition, what will be the normal reaction N? That will be W, weight of the liquid plus rho L cube G. So do we have that as our option? Yes, that's option A. Okay, so N, this is N, right? This is N. If you consider the vertical equilibrium of liquid, N is equal to rho L cube G plus W. So as far as question 5 is concerned, the correct option is A. Now let us go to question 50. We have already read it. So we will follow similar procedure here. Okay, let's consider the block first. Let us first consider the block weight of the block acting downwards rho b let me show it here rho b l cubed g bind force acting vertically upwards rho l cube g this time bind force is not enough bind force is not enough because density of the block material is greater than the density of the liquid so in this case in this particular case it needs to be supplied an additional force in the form of tension Okay, to keep it in equilibrium. Now please note that a string can only handle tension. String can only handle tension, whereas a stick can handle both tension and compression. We have seen this uh, during our study of vertical circular motion performed with a stick and performed with a string. You know the difference, right? Okay. So that's uh, as far as the block. Now let's go to liquid. As far as the liquid is concerned, or its vertical equilibrium, there isn't much variation. So its weight will act downwards. Its weight will act downwards. Uh, what is going to act in the upward direction? The normal reaction. And now comes the main part, okay? The main part is that the, the third law of motion is still at work. So if liquid is exerting a bind force, equal to rho l cube g vertically upward direction on the block block will exert an equal and opposite force on the liquid in the opposite or downward direction so this is going to be the reaction okay rho l cube g so again even when the block is heavier in this case the block is heavier still the equilibrium of the liquid is going to give us the same value of n that is rho l cube plus w so even for question number 50 which i already explained to you in another video the option is a okay so it didn't matter now whether the block was heavier than the liquid or it was lighter as long as everything is in equilibrium uh, the weight as measured by the weighing machine will be same. It will be the weight of the liquid plus container plus an equivalent weight. What is it equivalent to? Volume equal to volume of the liquid and a density. Uh, well, sorry, volume is the volume of the block which is displaced uh, and uh, rho is equal to the density of the liquid. Okay, now I hope uh, there is no confusion now 
for rho b less than rho and rho b greater than rho they were two different problems which had or which have rather same solution option 3